Informed voluntary consent protects an individual's freedom of choice and respects their autonomy. Researchers must obtain voluntary written consent from prospective participants for biomedical and health research studies. And participants must understand and agree to the information shared with them. The informed consent document has two parts, Patient or Participant Information Sheet PIS, and the Informed Consent Form ICF. Patient Information Sheet PIS, provides details of the study, while the Informed Consent Form bears the signature of the participant or their legally authorized representative LAR. Consent by LAR is required if participant is under the age of 18, illiterate or suffering from a serious health condition. If a participant or their representative is illiterate, an impartial literate witness needs to be present while consent is being sought. The informed consent form must state clearly the project is for research purposes only and must contain all project-related information. There are also other important aspects that need to be considered while seeking informed consent. The researcher should use the latest version of the consent documents. Participants are encouraged to ask questions and clarify any doubts. All questions raised by participants must be answered truthfully. Participants can withdraw from the study anytime without losing benefits. Community engagement does not replace individual informed consent. It is therefore critical to obtain individual consent in addition to permission from communities. Extra care needs to be taken when the participants are children. A child's agreement to participate in research is called assent. Consent of the parent or the authorized representative is also required. In unique situations, such as during humanitarian crises, consent can be waived. The Ethics Committee only allows this if the researcher can justify that the study is important and can only succeed if consent is waived. Electronic methods can also be used to obtain informed consent if it can be documented, but it must be reviewed and approved by the Ethics Committee. In some situations, consent has to be taken again during the course of the study. This is known as re-consent or fresh consent. Instances include when a child participant turns 18 during the course of the study, or when the mental or physical competency of participant is affected. Informed consent is a continuous process. Relevant information needs to be communicated to potential participants who must be able to understand the information and provide voluntary consent. Communication channels always remain open and participants' rights are placed above everything else including their right to say no.